My name is Alan Cravens. I'm the store director at Meyer on Dixie Highway, and I uh, was approached by Councilman Hawkins' office and uh, asked if we wanted to be a, in partnership to provide hand sanitizer to all the schools in, in the district. And uh, we were more than happy to um, to be partnered with that. We were actually as a as a family-owned company. Um, we were more than glad to be part of that, and it was a great partnership for us, and we appreciate the opportunity. Um, there, there's no need to, to reiterate all the, the uh, that we've heard about the H1N1 uh, uh, flu virus going around. Um, there, there are some very simple things that you can do to prevent it. It's uh, cover your nose and mouth, try not to touch your nose and mouth, uh, wash your hands regularly, avoid touching your eyes, uh, try not to uh, get in close contact with sick people. But one of the things you can do is to use hand sanitizer. And I don't know that there's ever been a, a, an effort made district-wide to put hand sanitizer in every single classroom to protect our children, but it is a very good idea. And, and I know a lot of the teachers do this out of their own expense, but if we had it in every single classroom, then we know that we are touching and affecting everybody. And even, even if this hand sanitizer affects only one or two percent of, of the 5,000 students, we're helping 50 to 100 students. And, and we know it has an exponential effect because they won't reinfect the, the next 100 students and they won't reinfect the next 100 students. So this is a great idea. And we, we immediately called uh, a Jewish Hospital Medical Center Southwest and talked to Rob Murphy and said, Rob, this is a great idea. Can you help us out? And Rob said, absolutely. We, we are on board 100%. Rob says, we can't beat the Meyer price. Now, I don't know how much better you can get than that, but we can't beat the Meyer price. It's a pretty doggone good thing. So we are extremely cost effective here to the taxpayer. For, for a few cents per student, we are able to protect them from this H1N1 virus, help them to, to teach them good habits, and help them to, to uh, 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 move forward in their education. I mean, it goes without saying that, that uh, a healthy, uh, happy children are, are the best educated children, and it goes without saying that if you can do good habits like this, washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, we're going to keep these children healthy. We want to thank uh, Meyer Store and, and their director, Alan Cravens, who's here today. We want to thank Rob Murphy, the administrator and director of operations at Jewish Medical Center Hospital Southwest. We want to thank Jill Hanley, principal of Kenwood Elementary School. Uh, for being our host today. And we are, we are putting out 230 bottles of 32 ounce hand sanitizer. We will uh, uh, place them in every classroom in District 25. That is 250 classrooms. We're going into eight different schools. Doss High School, Stewart Middle School, uh, Christian Academy Southwest Elementary School, Lane Elementary School, Trunnell Elementary School, Medora Elementary School, Stone Street Elementary School, and Kenwood Elementary School. Well, already this year as we watch the news, read the news, we've seen the effects that H1N1 can have. Uh, around the state as well as the country with the number of school closures we've had and the number of absences we've had with our children uh, with illness. Uh, because of this, Jewish Hospital Medical Center Southwest appreciates the opportunity to support Councilman Hawkins, uh, the Southwest uh, Jefferson County community, and our local schools on this uh, very worthy project. Hopefully by adding sanitizer to each classroom in the district and educating the students on proper hygiene, we can uh, reduce the risk of exposure and keep the students in the classroom learning. I've also brought with me a nice fact sheet to give some valuable information about the H1N1 flu virus, as well as some prevention trips tips uh, to educate folks and hopefully keep everyone healthy. Um, on behalf of the students and staff in the community of Kenwood Elementary, we would just like to thank Councilman Hawkins, who we've worked with so wonderfully. Um, we'd like to thank Alan from Meyer, and we'd like to thank Rob from Jewish. Uh, we can't appreciate it enough. We try our very best to make sure uh, students are washing their hands as, as frequently as possible. We've got hand sanitizer all over the room, and this is just aiding us even better. So thank you so much. Um, our students and staff will, will certainly benefit from this. My name is Kevin Schooling, Principal of Cal Southwest, Christian Academy of Louisville Southwest. And we know that this helps kids uh, sanitize their hands and helps prevent uh, with flu season happening all around us. And thank you again, Mr. Hawkins and Myers and Jewish Hospital for their hospitality. Again, I'd like to thank Myers so very much for, for their contribution and Jewish Hospital Southwest Medical Center for their contribution and, and you know, for, for being so concerned about the community and being concerned about uh, the children of this community and, and, and wanting to participate in this so readily. Right